could it be? Could it be? Could it really be? That the only reason the M3D sucks is because their software is horrible? If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did um, a couple, but particularly one long, um, supposedly high quality print with the M3D. Uh, and I'm not impressed. It doesn't look like a print I've ever had on any other machine. It kind of has a weird tendency to smush the la previous layers around so you get a very pronounced layering effect. Um, and I did suspect that this could be the case, but now it seems even more confirmed. Some corners are cut in making the M3D in order to make it more affordable. But I don't think that that's a bad thing. Um, I think what is making it seem like a bad design is maybe actually just the software. Some of the, some of the decisions they've made might actually have been good ones. Uh, because now that I'm using this third-party software um, called Microprint, uh, it's kind of looking okay. Uh, obviously, this has just started, but I can already see a difference. So I'm going to let this whole print go um, and then compare it maybe even against something printed on my RigidBot, which is my main workhorse machine, uh, and we'll be able to do a better comparison. But I can already tell it looks a lot better. So it's really unfortunate if that is the case that they made maybe a good and one of the first few decent budget 3D printers and ruined it with bad software so um, we'll see I'll definitely update you guys more I'll show you the software this is microprint under here you just create the g-code um, it's printing right now so I can't show you the whole interface but this is what it looks like while it's printing and yeah if anyone has any questions let me know I'll do some more updates soon okay and talk to you later